pepper. I added the habanero pepper, ginger. And beautiful edition of Annie's kitchen in today's edition we are going to be making gizzard stew again we are going to be making chicken gizzard stew okay so I have my ingredients on this corner of my kitchen of course I have my crayfish here I have habanero pepe fresh tomatoes fresh red bell peppers I have my onion I have spring onion I have my basil leaves that's fresh cut from my backhead. I have my ginger all peeled off and I have my garlic here. And over here I have my chicken gizzards. So as you can see it's been washed so well. So make sure that the yellowish part of the gizzard is uh, uh, thoroughly removed okay so mine was already removed when i bought them but again i still went through it to make sure it's they were thoroughly removed and also i sprinkled some salt on it and soaked it in warm water for five minutes then rinse it off totally good okay then i have some thyme i'm gonna be using it for spicing up this uh, stew and i have turmeric of course okay and I have my Maggi cubes here and I have no seasoning I have curry powder and of course I have my salt here okay and again we are going to be using oil to cook and again I'm gonna be using rice for this um, stew you can use yam plantain but for me I'm going to be using rice okay all right let's go guys okay so i have my gizzard in here so i'm gonna be um finish adding onion and uh, spring onion so already chopped okay mm -hmm. okay so just adding a little bit of salt you know i wash this with salt so if you're going to be adding salt just be careful then a little bit of turmeric you know and uh, a little bit of curry powder mm -hmm, okay so again add all the spices according to how much you like them and that's my maggi cube i just added one cube then this no powder i'm gonna be adding just a little bit also okay mm -hmm. when this and these are all added I'm gonna just you know make sure I mix it up really good mm -hmm. all right so by this time I'm gonna add water and I'm gonna cook these um, gizzards up to 20 minutes or until tender you know just as tender as you want it to be so your preference matters a whole lot okay all right, so I'm gonna cover it and let it cook for 20 minutes. All right. Okay, guys, for this red pepper, as you can see, I'm just cutting it open. Then I'll remove the seeds, although it doesn't have a whole bunch of seeds. But I'm gonna remove these seeds. Then I will be blending this together with the tomatoes. Then I'm gonna cook it until dry so it's so that it will be able to blend very well okay then i'm gonna pour it in the pot then cook it to dry before I also added the um the crayfish in there so everything is blended i'm just gonna pour it together with the rest of the um pepper the red bell pepper okay and again this is the remaining tomatoes and the red bell pepper is already in the pot All right let's give it the time to cook okay so i have my rice over here i'm just gonna sprinkle a little bit of salt then i'm gonna add a little bit of butter to the rice okay over here we're going to check on our gizzard yeah. 
Yeah, so this is cooking so well. The aroma is so sweet. Okay, guys, so I'm using uh, peanut oil, which is um, granite oil, basically. So I'm just pouring it into my cooking pan. Okay, so my oil is totally warmed up just the way I want it. I don't want to overheat this oil, okay, to avoid accidents. So I'm just um, adding my chopped onion and um, spring onion. So that's what I just added. Okay, so our onion and spring onion are done. So now I'm going to add the gizzard to the oil. So this is going to give it the opportunity to fry it a little bit. Okay. All right, so this is done. This is exactly the way I want it to be done. That's the gizzard and the onion. Then I'm going to pour in my tomato, you know, the tomato and the bell pepper that I made earlier. Yep. So I didn't let this dry all the way because this is just the way I wanted it to be. Okay, so I'm going to add the basil leaves. These are the fresh cut basil leaves, okay? And um, if you don't have basil leaves available, you can use curry leaves. They all sub can substitute each other very well. And this is turmeric. Again, that's turmeric. And this is just my curry powder. This one here is curry powder, okay? All right, so I'm going to add my no seasoning. Again, that's no seasoning. So I just added that. Mm -hmm. And I'm going to add Maggi cube. So you add according to your taste, okay? Mm -hmm. Then I'm going to add some salt, okay? I'm not a huge fan of salt, so always add salt according to your personal taste and preference. Okay, so I'm going to turn it gently. So now the stove is on low heat, okay? So as you can see, everything is looking very, very good. Whoa! So please test for salt. I have the broth over here from the um, from boiling the gizzard. So that's the gizzard broth. I just um, added it to the stew. Okay. Then I'm gonna let it cook for about five more minutes, and this will be generally done. So the rice is done, as you can see over here is done. So we're gonna look at the stew. Oh yeah, this is so, so good and delicious. Ooh. Very, very lovely. Mm -hmm. Just like the way I desired it to be. Yep, that's the gizzard chicken, right? Chicken gizzard stew. Yep. So if you are the type that love a whole lot of stew on your rice, just like I do, mm -hmm, you go for it. Yeah. Mm -hmm. Whoa, this is so, so good. So again, if you don't like a whole lot of stew, just put a little bit of stew. For me, I love a lot of stew on my rice. This is hot, so I'm just gonna eat a little bit of it that I'm on my tongue. Mm, mm, mm. Wow, this is so delicious. Mm. 
How I wish you were here to test this. Oh my goodness. Mm. All right, guys. Thank you for watching another beautiful edition of Annie's Kitchen and Wellbeing. I love you guys. Please stay safe. Bye.